2022 Honda Insight Review Hybrids used to be all about flaunting their eco-friendliness with outrageous styling and bright colors. However, most of them now go about their fuel-efficient business without giving it a second thought. Consider the Honda Insight 2022. The Insight, which is roughly the same size as the all-new 2022 Honda Civic, and its staid styling don't really hint at its impressive EPA estimated 52 mpg in combined city-slash-highway driving. Instead, the Insight resembles any other small sedan and offers many of the same features at a reasonable price. How does the Insight function? The Insight leans towards sobriety rather than spirit, but it's more lively and refined than a Prius. Around town, the electric motor feels torquey and provides smooth, responsive acceleration. It's not fast, but at 8.1 seconds from 0 to 60 mph, it's among hybrids. The steering is precise, and the Insight is easy to maneuver around corners and change lanes. Our test Insight came to a stop from 60 mph in 123 feet, which is good for the class. The braking is predictable and simple to control, but the pedal feels a little disconnected when braking hard. We were also bothered by the fact that the adjustable regenerative braking system kept resetting itself in normal driving mode. How comfy is the Insight? Honda has nailed the majority of the fundamentals. The seats are comfortable with medium firm foam and enough contouring to provide support during long drives, though some drivers may wish for adjustable lumbar support. When driving over humps in the road, there is some bouncing, but single wheel impacts and smaller road textures are handled deftly. The physical controls for the climate system are large and clearly marked, and the vents provide adequate coverage. The main disadvantage is noise. When the battery needs charging, the gas engine can idle loudly and cause vibrations, and the Insight makes more noise on the highway than some competitors. When noise is well controlled, but there is noticeable road noise at high speeds. How is the inside? This cabin, which is larger on the inside than the exterior suggests, exemplifies Honda's mastery of space utilization. Front passengers have plenty of headroom and elbow room. Drivers of various sizes should be able to find a comfortable seating position, though we wish the telescoping steering wheel had a little more range. Headroom in the back is limited for taller adults, but there is plenty of tow room. The inside is well designed and functional, with obvious and well labeled controls. The transmission selector buttons are a little more distracting than a traditional gear lever, but you'll get used to them. The visibility out the front is good, but the wide rear roof pillars and tall rear deck create some rear blind spots. How's the technology? Honda's infotainment screen is responsive, clear, and simple to use. The physical shortcut buttons on the left side of the screen are also useful. It deprives Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, standard on the EX trim and up, despite Honda's excellent integration with both. Honda's advanced driver assistance systems continue to lag behind the competition due to their conservative tuning. The brake alert appears far too frequently during routine city driving, but it is not as intrusive as some other systems during the initial warning phase. The adaptive cruise system is adequate, but other systems operate more naturally. How is the storage situation? The Insight isn't as cargo-friendly as the Prius but it's still a useful vehicle. The cargo hold is about 15 cubic feet deep, and the 60-40 split rear bench can be folded down using levers in the trunk. The hybrid batteries are located under the back seat and do not restrict cargo space. The centerpiece of the in-cabin storage is a well-thought-out center console. The space is deep and has a lot of volume. A removable and sliding insert and divider system are also included. A convenient rubberized pad on the console is ideal for holding a phone. The Insight has car seat anchors in the back that are easily accessible under fabric fastener flaps, 
and there is plenty of space for car seats. How about the fuel economy? According to the EPA, the Insight gets 48 to 52 mpg in combined driving. That is among the best fuel economy ratings of any car available. We observed 50.5 mpg on our 150-mile test route, indicating that the EPA numbers are applicable for real-world driving. Consider getting the EX trim of the Insight. It lacks some of the nicer features found in the Touring trim, but the EX costs thousands, less than gets better fuel economy than the Touring thanks to its smaller 16-inch wheels. Isn't that the point of buying a hybrid?